Hi, in this video we're going to take, going to take a look how to insert and configure Virus AG plugin for uh, Studio One by PreSonus. But before we go into the Studio One, mm, make sure you go to the product page and check out the tutorials tab and make sure you've got the appropriate version of the plugin installed that you've done the configuration uh, for the MIDI and DAW and also make sure you've done the configuration for your virus. This video covers virus C and virus TI but since virus A, B, C are quite similar to, to the menus that should work for both models. So before we go into the details in Studio One, I would like to point out that I'm a Logic Pro user, so this DAW is not my main um, main workstation, and it's quite uh, unknown DAW to me. But uh, before we insert the plugin, let's go to preferences. And I've got my master keyboard right here, which has been set up already. And I'm just going to add the viruses what I've got. So access music virus TI2 desktop. And we are only sending MIDI to port 11 and choose all channels, send MIDI clock and that should be it for the TI and let's create another one access music virus C desktop and send MIDI to port 12 all channels and send MIDI clock um, I have a different setup video for the Windows platform so where I'm using um, Loop Bay 30 internal MIDI interface and MIDI aux so you can achieve the same results as this one but um, these are now connected so we are not receiving MIDI from the device into the DAW because otherwise we might end up causing double processing for the plugin which is not ideal so we only receive MIDI from from my master keyboard. Click OK and then I'm going to add audio tracks. So I'm going to do three sets of Virus TI audio tracks and they are stereo and input comes from the Virus TI and master out and that's OK. So now we have three tracks ready for the virus ti plugin and midi chosen right here what we can do next is uh, enable monitoring for those channels and um, let's insert the plugin so show instruments and we scroll down this endless list of plugins and um, let's do audio unit. I always prefer using the audio unit. You want, if you want to use the VST, that's fine. Um, okay, now we go to multi settings, choose the virus TI exit multi settings and choose the virus TI from the MIDI in and MIDI out. Plugin is ready to go so the data has been received from the virus. So I know I've got some data in my virus um, currently open so I'm just going to click synchronize data from hardware and that's going to fetch all of the current data from the virus into the plugin GUI. If you wonder why I've got this MIDI in and MIDI out named 
for the virus TI. Uh, there's an application on macOS which is called Audio and MIDI Setup. So if you have your MIDI interface, you can add a new device and then draw the cables into your MIDI device and this is how it will display the names in the DAW. Okay, synchronization is done. So I have received all of the data from from the virus into the plugin GUI. Now if I want to play part two from this plugin, what I usually do is I create MIDI tracks. So if we create MIDI tracks, then we can obviously use the DAW um, MIDI clock, which is a lot more accurate than the plugin MIDI clock. So let's create, let's do five MIDI tracks this time. And yeah, color is fine. Uh, input none. And let's choose the virus TI desktop right there. So from channel one, onwards it will create five tracks there we go okay now if i play channel two from my master keyboard we should be hearing the sound from the virus ti like so and channel three and channel four Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. Um, you can do your arrangement here, uh, draw the MIDI blocks, and um, in terms of automation, uh, let's see how to do automation in in Studio One. Is it there? Yes. Display on off. Add and remove. All right, so here we got the parameters. This is quite a long list, so I hope there is a search function in here, but uh, it appears there's not. So let's add the filter cut off from this list. And these are all the parameters which are available for the DAW to automate. Filter. Right, there we go. Let's add all of the 16 parts. Close that one. And then we can choose the appropriate filter curve. And if we move the knob in the plugin GUI, we can see it's also changing the value in the DAW. So that's how you do automation. That's how you configure the virus, MIDI channels and MIDI in and out, choosing the right model and getting the audio from, from the virus into your DAW. I hope that helps um, to get you going with the plugin in Studio One. And if you have any questions, please drop them below. In the next video, we're going to take a look how to use the librarian functions inside Logic Pro X, because that is my main DAW. Okay, thanks for watching and see you soon.